I'm so tired of my own shit. This is not funny anymore because stuff like that exists. And for kids that watch that, I get it. It's like, whoa, dude, a water cooler of vodka. But me, an adult man baby who has no control over his finances, sees that video while I'm stoned out of my mind with adult money <laughs> at my fingertips, which is never a good thing. I don't make good money decisions. I bought a megaphone. I'm literally the last person in the world who needs this. <laughs> now everybody can hear me pissed in hell. Because normal people would see that video and move on with their day. But me? Nope. <laughs> nope, not me apparently because I'm not normal people. Where am I gonna put this? My roommate is getting pissed. We have three bars in this apartment, why? I don't know. <laughs> I also don't like that in this video, they're putting generic vodka in this and then calling it Kettle One. Y'all are lying. Lying right to my motherfucking face, like most marketing, but it's working. I bought a fucking water cooler. Where is this gonna go? Honestly, this is what every therapist's office needs, a water cooler full of vodka. That part is genius, that I will say. So here's what's happening in today's video. I'm sorry, it's nine o'clock at night on a Monday and I'm up to my same old bullshit. I thought I could just do what the video did and fill this with straight vodka. But then I thought that's not fun enough. That's not something that I would do. I would make it more enjoyable because you know what I don't like drinking? Straight vodka because I'm not, I was gonna say I'm not depressed. I'm not depressed enough to drink straight vodka. I'm gonna fill this with my own party juice. Because I feel like this is knowledge that also needs to get passed down because y'all watching those fucking I'm Schmacked videos that are, stop, stop being annoying. Stop being annoying. Stop being annoying. Stop it. Y'all watching those fucking I'm Schmacked videos and thinking that that's good. Combining candy with sugary juices and sugary liquors and sugary alcohol. And I saw somebody put a fucking Smirnoff ice in there. And they didn't lose a bet, they did it by choice. It's, it, was, it, it was disgusting. Not on my watch, so today I'm gonna make one that's decent. If you thought I wasted enough money, you're absolutely wrong. Because now I gotta fill this. I don't wanna talk about it. I want this filled more than your girlfriend wants her cooter filled up after girls night. And here's the thing, it doesn't have to be expensive alcohol. The thing about jungle juice, the thing about jungle juice and party punch, whatever the fuck you want to call it, is the whole point is to make it enjoyable. You're gonna feel like shit the next day. You're just, you're gonna. There's no way out of it. We want to make a pleasurable experience that ends in disaster. Just like everyone who marries their high school sweetheart. <laughs> so I got vodka, gin, tequila, triple sec, <laughs> a little bit of rum, and champagne. Just a little bit. Just enough to get us through the day. Oh my God, it's like an orgy of alcohol. So this party punch is gonna be a little different than I would normally do most. Normally I would cut up a bunch of fresh fruit and I'd even throw in some herbs and I'd use a lot of really good citrus and all that kind of fun shit and throw it all in the bowl to flavor it. But I don't know how long this is gonna be out unrefrigerated. <laughs> so I don't want anything to spoil. I will be using fruit juices, but I'm less concerned about that because that can spoil, but still look pretty just like my soul. I'm basically making an elaborate Long Island iced tea using basically all the ingredients, but instead of Coca-Cola, I'm gonna be using cranberry juice, so basically it's a Cape Cod. But throwing in some extra shit like champagne and sodas because we need to fill this bitch up. No ice, no fruits, nothing, just the liquor in this bitch. Because it has to go through this bitch, and I don't wanna clog it up. I don't like anything to be clogged up in this apartment, okay? Because all the garnishes in this would cause it to spoil faster, and even if I added ice, it would just water it down. When you serve it, it will be poured over ice with the garnishes in it. It all makes sense, or at least it does in my head, which is all that matters. So here we go, let's go, let's do this. Because there's no one here to tell me I can't. Stop leaving me alone. I'm a 30 year old man who needs supervision. Hello, let's start off with vodka. I feel like that's always safe. Oh no, is it a safety pour? No, why do these exist? There has to be a better way. There has, I could just break it, right? Can I not? I'm sure I can. Yes, yes, you easily, you just take it off, wow. 
I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Here comes the boy. Here's a little tip. If you spin the bottle, it creates a cyclone. It makes it pour out faster. There we go. One bottle of vodka. Next, we're gonna do rum. Get off the safety pour. What are these safety pours for? If we wanna chug it, we're gonna. Ha, It's like crafts <laughs> for people with problems. You did great. Next, we got gin. This isn't even like the worst alcohol I could be using. I could be using the stuff in a plastic bottle. And honestly, no judgment. It's all gonna fucking make me wanna die in the morning. But at least I'm not putting fucking gummy worms in it like you fucking idiots do on the internet. <laughs> Feel like I'm making a potion. <laughs> oh, I should do a themed one for Halloween. Great, okay, wow. Get out of the way, you're blocking daddy. Next, I'm gonna be adding in two bottles of tequila because the store I was at didn't have the bottles that I wanted. They were not big enough. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm extremely lazy. And I was not going to another store. So this is what we're doing. <laughs> yes, I feel like Frankenstein. I feel like I'm creating a beautiful monster. Honestly, yes. Next, I really hope this is good and isn't just a, a huge waste of money because that would be something I don't normally do on this channel, you know, waste my money. If there's anybody right now wondering what the measurements are of this, the answer is fuck you. Next, we're adding in a bottle of triple sack. It's not about you. Next, we're adding in a bottle of triple sack. Hold on, I should do what the gurus do. Can you see it? Oh uh, yeah, squirt out the top, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna be adding in two bottles of champagne. Why two? Because I felt like it, mom. Now what's the science behind this? It's um, it adds this thing that I like to call more. Just take your time, don't go crazy. You gotta make this with love, <laughs> okay? You can taste the difference, just like you can feel the difference. And drink is a lot like sex. Making a cocktail is a lot like having sex. You can feel the difference when it's done with love compared to hate and aggression. Sometimes both might be liked. But we're making this to deal with our problems, not create new ones. Yes, bitch. Okay. Now it's time to assess. So far we filled up half of it with alcohol. So I feel like it's safe to say that this drink will literally fuck you. Fun. Now for the juices, I'm gonna add in some limeade because citrus juices will help mask the flavor of alcohol. That's why we're starting with primarily those. The more citrus, the less you're gonna taste the alcohol. It's science. Maybe it's not science, but you know what? If you prove me wrong, good for you. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some light lemonade because it matters. <laughs> Get in there and join your friends. It's adult swim. I feel like I should say at this point of the video to drink responsibly. <laughs> drink creatively, but responsibly. Oh, okay, I'm having so much fun. Now I wanna add in some pink lemonade because it's pink and I wanna be, you know. Now just one more thing of cranberry juice. Okay, amazing. It looks like punch. And now I'm gonna top it off with some soda water for extra bubbles. Go ahead. I think we're good. So just to recap real quick, in this we have, basically for the most part, a handle of vodka, rum, gin, and tequila, a bottle of triple sec, two bottles of champagne, a bottle of soda water, and four bottles of all natural fruit juices. Primarily citrus ones because it, what? Masks the flavor so you don't have to do it with extra sugary shit, even though there is plenty of sugar in these fruit juices, trust me. Which is why you don't need sugary alcohol and candy, damn it! And no more drinking Smirnoff ices. You only drink those if you lose a bet. You're gonna piss me off. Okay, so now we also gotta cap this thing. And to make sure there's no spill, because the last thing I need all over my floor is this shit. I got these no spill caps. At least they say they're no spill. If they, it, it, if it spills, I'm gonna be leaving a one star review. There we go, bitch! Okay, now come join me over here while we open this part. This part I'm assuming is gonna be the easy part. The drink's already made. Now I only have to put that into that. It's also how sex was explained to me and I still can't get that right. So we're just gonna do our absolute best. And if it's anything like sex, it should only take three seconds. Get out of the box, get out of the box. Oh my God, look it's here. Oh, it even has a hot option. I don't think I want that hot. So let's avoid the hot option. <laughs> but we could use it to make hot toddies. Good to know. Okay, so let's pretend that this is an office. And now you have your work cooler so you could be working here at your desk and then swivel around and oh my god instead of a refreshing drink of water you have a cocktail so let's see how this scenario would play out oh my god i just got fired alcohol oh my god i'm dealing with an annoying client alcohol oh my god my partner is fucking my boss 
alcohol. I've never done this before, but I think you just put that this on top. What do I know about being a top? Ha! Shut up, comments. Okay. Oh my god. 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 It's not coming out anywhere. Where's it going? I don't know what it's doing. Oh my God. Is this gonna break? If it breaks, I will be pissed. I do not see anywhere that it said you could not do this. I also don't know who else would do this. Okay, it's plugged in. It's on. It's still doing something. I don't know what it's doing. Oh my God, okay, I think it's done. I'm gonna go get a glass, fill it with ice, garnish. Oh, let's get let's get fancy. Bitch, okay, we have our glass. And now, moment of truth, I'm gonna see if this works. Shut up, everybody, shut up. Quiet on the set. <gasps> Shut up. Of course it works. <laughs> but ma. Girls. Guys. Non-binary friends, what do we think? We gotta taste it. I hope this is good. I hope this is good. If this is good, this is something I want everybody to start doing at their parties. Instead of scooping it out with a ladle or sticking your nasty ass cups in it, Look at this, we just lived through a pandemic, okay? I might just be single-handedly saving the pandemic because I know y'all going to parties. It's so good. Explain to me how I don't taste any alcohol. Explain to me how I don't taste any alcohol. <laughs> Y'all probably sat back and laughed. You said, Michael, you're dumb. Michael, you stupid. Michael, this is just another dumb thing you're doing on a Monday. Fuck you, cause look at look what I got now. This shit right here, bitch. <laughs> mm. Honey, you know, someone tweeted at me today that I was nothing special. I'm just another white gay with muscles. And bitch, you were absolutely right. Just another white gay with muscles, TM. But also, I got a fucking this thing. Do you have a water cooler full of jungle juice? I don't fucking think so. I don't think you do. Know. I'm just a white gay with muscles that also has a cooler full of jungle juice. And a megaphone. Oh my God, what do we call it? I literally, I can't believe you can't taste anything. I call this drink, help. <laughs> oh, this turned out fabulous. I'm so happy. I love when things work out, you know? I love when things work out on my channel. I don't have much work in front of me in my real life. So this makes me happy. And I hope it made you happy. If this is something that you would like to try, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know your jungle juice recipes. Maybe I'll put it in the water cooler in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. If you guys do this, Tag me on social media so I can share it. Let me know what you think, if you agree or disagree. And also in the comments, let me know of some other fun things you'd like to see me do that are alcohol related. What's like a weird idea that you don't wanna do, but you'd like to see me do? Let me know in the comments. You can find me across social media everywhere at MikeMGTV. And, and be sure to check out me live on Twitch every Sunday at 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. EST. And guys, don't forget, I have a podcast that comes out every Wednesday with Mac Does It, Messy with Mac and Mike. All links are in the description below. Go have a great fucking time. This is a great thing to have, I think. I think this is very fitting to have in my apartment. <laughs> you know? How long this will last without going bad? I don't know. But you know, knowing me, I don't think it's gonna be here very long. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm Mike on GTV, and you're fucking welcome.